Hey everyone, this is Prince Brightstar, and I wanted to take a little time to walk you through how to set up Fantasy Star Online 2. The process has changed a little bit, which is why I'm putting out this updated video. Please note, if you encounter any issues during this process, I am unable to provide troubleshooting, and need to refer you to the site linked here on your screen and in the description below that leads you to the troubleshooting thread. This process is also for Windows PCs only. To put it simply, there are five steps necessary to get the game up and running and translated using the fan translation that is available. First, obtaining the PSO2 tweaker. Second, downloading the game. Third, creating an account. Fourth, downloading the story patch. And fifth, depending upon if your internet provider is natively supported for connecting to the game servers or not, connecting through the PSO2 proxy to get online. Going to the top of the list, to obtain the PSO2 tweaker, you'll want to go to www.arcs-layer.com. The first page should take you right to the PSO2 tweaker, but if it doesn't, just look on the left side for the link to the tweaker. Simply install the .NET framework if you don't have that installed on your computer, and then download and run the PSO2 tweaker. You'll want to create a shortcut to the program since this is what you'll use to both launch and patch the game. Once you have the PSO2 tweaker open, go to the orb in the upper left corner and click on it to open the menu. Then go to Other Tasks and click on Install Fantasy Star Online 2. Next, select the location where you want the game to be installed. Once you have set that and you click OK, you'll be asked if you want to download the core English and large file patches. Go ahead and say yes, then click OK at the next prompt. At this point, the game will begin downloading. Please note that this process will take a while to complete because the game is over 23 gigabytes at this time. If there are any issues during this process, simply relaunch the tweaker and it should pick up right where it left off. If for some reason it does not, Go to the orb in the upper left corner, go to Troubleshooting, and click on Analyze Install for Issues. In addition, you'll want to manually install the Core English and Large English patches through the menu while the Story patch is downloaded, which we'll cover later in this video. While the game is downloading, we can take a look at creating your account. First, do a search for the PSO2 extension. This will download an add-on for your web browser, which will help translate a portion of the sign-up process. Next, click on the registration link on your screen, or look for the registration link in the description of this video. That will lead you to this page. Type in your email address and click the button to the right. Next, open your email and click on the Sega ID email you just received. Inside, you will find a link. Click on it. That will lead you to the Account Setup page. Type in a username and click the button to the right. If you get a circle, that means that username is available. If you get an X, try a different username. Next, put in a password. Below that, set your date of birth. After that, it will ask you what security question to use. Select one and then put in the security answer. When it comes to subscribing to the newsletter, unless you can read Japanese, I recommend skipping that. The hardest part of the sign-up is this CAPTCHA. As you can see, it's giving you a bunch of Japanese symbols. Click below to open the keyboard and do your best to enter what you see on your screen. Please keep in mind you have a limited amount of time to complete the page. If you don't succeed at first, keep trying and you'll eventually get through. Once you successfully get your information in and complete the CAPTCHA, you'll be taken to a summary page. Simply click the button on the right to proceed. Next, click this button here. Now click the button below this line of characters. This indicates you want to use the ID to play Fantasy Star Online 2. Next, put a check mark in here and then click the button on the left. After clicking that button, go back to your email and after refreshing, if you got an email with PSO2 in the subject line, you've successfully completed signing up for an account. 
When the game finally finishes downloading, we can add the English story patch to the game. Go to the orb in the upper left corner, go to install slash update patches, and click on story patch new method. This is also where you'll install the core English and large English files as well, if you need to do that. During this process, it will launch a program called PSO2-TransAM. In the event you see any errors with files indicating EOF at the end while the game is being patched, generally this is not an issue with the story patch, but rather is a remnant of a file that was once used but no longer is and can be ignored. At this point, with your username and password set up and the game installed, it's time to see if you can log in. Click on the Launch PSO2 button. Once at the title screen, hit enter, agree to the terms, and hit enter to log in with your Sega ID. If a list of ships appears immediately, you're all set to go and can log in once you've selected your ship. The majority of the English community can be found on ship 2. If, however, you see a screen with a spinning icon, there's one more thing you'll need to do. Hit Alt F4 to quit the game. Open a web browser and do a search for PSO2 Proxy. This will lead you to pso2proxy.cyberkitsune.net. Click on the first link and it'll present you with the rules and notices for the PSO2 Proxy. Once accepting them, say yes that you're using the PSO2 Tweaker. Highlight the link that ends in .json and copy it. Next, relaunch the PSO2 Tweaker and go to the orb in the upper left corner. Go to Other Tasks and click on Configure PSO2 Proxy Server Settings. When the Configuration JSON window pops up, paste in the URL you copied a moment ago and click OK. Now, launch Fantasy Star Online 2 again, and you should be able to access the ship selection and log in. Once you're logged in, you're all set. Again, the majority of the English community can be found on Ship 2. I hope you found this guide useful for setting up the game. This is Prince Brightstar signing off. If I don't see you in-game, I'll see you next time.